Hi people, this is Raggedy Ass Blake. Don't forget to turn your sound on. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this is, I don't even remember what the hell happened to be honest. Hopefully this shit is good though. My next day. I don't even want to go to school. I know, but you have to. You know that Agatha would not be happy if you miss class. Agatha, she's going to kill me when she sees me with all those bruises. What, what am I going to tell her? I have no idea. Can you ask her to stay here a few days? That way she won't see you? I'll ask her, but I don't think she'll say yes. You should get ready for school now. Yeah. What are you going to do now? Well, if you got so many bruises, why the hell you got your arms and shit out or whatever? I have to find a way to end this war. I hope Shirley is still alive. She's the only one who can give me um, all the information about Pablo and his gang. Who's that girl? Why did she save us? She works for me. I sent her to Pablo's man. And I'm glad she was there. I don't know uh, what would have happened if she didn't rescue you. Poor girl, I hope she's fine. I hope so, too. Look at Jane. Blake, what happened to you? I don't really want to talk about it. Did Liam do this to you? Does he hit you? Of course not. <laughs> Liam would never touch me. And I just tell you that I didn't want to talk about that. Damn, I want to throw up again. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, uh, okay. What about you? As usual, what can I say? No one talks, what, well, no one wants to talk to me. No one is ready to forgive me. And Harriet's living the good life with Noah and the others. I thought that Tyler uh, wouldn't forgive her after she ruined his party, but it seems like I was wrong. Tyler is an idiot. Everyone knows that. Um, now, don't worry. And you can hang out with us if you want. Oh, really? I thought you hated me. I don't hate you. I don't hate people in general. Plus, you tried to help me. Yeah, because your boyfriend proposed to pay me. <laughs> Maybe, but still, you tried. I know that you're... No, that you're not a bad person. Uh, why are you so nice? I don't know. I guess that's just the way I am. Do you know why Tom and Jen didn't come today? They have some personal problems. Are they okay? Look, Jean, I can't tell you what's going on between them, so please, can we stop talking about that? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just wanted to know. Jean knows he's fucked. Hey, Agatha, it's me. Can I stay at Liam's place tonight? Again? You already slept at his place last night, and you know that I don't want you to do that um, when you have school the next day. I know, but you're never here. I'm always alone at home. Noah barely talks to me. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Thank you, Agatha. Yeah, but don't forget to do your homework. I won't. Don't worry. Talk to you later. Bye. Let's go. I called Agatha. I can stay the night with you. Well, I can stay with you tonight. Great. I have to go. I'll come home later. Don't go outside. You're safe here. There are two of my men watching the house. I also put some 
of my man in front of your apartment in Tom's house. Thank you. See you later. Be careful. I will. I need to know how Jen is. But I'm not sure if she will talk to me or want to talk to me. I also I can also call, him, call Tom, but he must be upset. Who should I call? Call Jen. What the fuck? She's my fucking friend. You want to know how she is? You call her. Hello? Hey, Jen. I, I need to talk to you. Well, I needed to call you. How are you? I don't really want to talk right now. Oh. Right, I understand. It's not against you. I just, I just need to rest right now. I understand. You know you can call me at any time. I know. Bye, Blake. Bye. Meanwhile. How was Shirley? She hasn't woken up yet. Damn it. She's the only one who uh, can tell us how Pablo's working and how his men protect him. I know, but let's keep hope. Um, Are the guys still here there? Of course, they're watching her at the uh, hospital room, right? Night and day. <laughs> Good. We don't want Pablo to come and kill her once he knows she works for me. Yeah, don't worry. The guys are watching her. Good. How's Blake? Is she okay? Yeah, she's okay, but it's not the case for her friend. Pablo's a monster, and I will make sh make him pay for what he did. You can count on us. We're all here to help you bring him down once and for all. What if Shirley never wakes up? We can't wait. We have to act now. Pablo has to die now. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> we have to be very careful, and you know that. Otherwise, we are going to die. We're all going to die. Um, at least let's wait a few days. If Shirley wakes up, she will help us. Are you listening to me? I tell you I don't want to wait. It has to end now. Liam, you're going to die if you act before you think. Oh, why don't you want to wait? Why do you want to act now? Because I'm going to be a father. Oh, oh shit. Damn, I had no idea. No one knows. It's driving me crazy, Alda. It has to stop. I can't sleep at night. I don't want to risk Blake in my baby's life. Lives. Um, I just want to kill this bastard and leave this fucking gang once and for all. I understand, but trust me, you don't want to die. You don't want to leave them alone. We have to do it properly. I'm sick of waiting, Alda. I know, but you don't have a choice. Don't worry, we have men watching Blake's apartment. Nothing can happen to her. And we just uh, burned one of their safe houses. Pablo must be vi busy right now. Probably, but he must be. Well, he must still be angry. And so are you. Now you're going to think and find a way to get rid of him. But we have to do it carefully. Meanwhile. Joanne? What are you doing here? I've heard what happened. Can I see her? Let me see if she wants to talk to you. You can see her. Thank you. So, bitch, you... Well, you know what? Fuck it. Tom, you need to clean your fucking dirt-ass room up, child. Hey. What are you doing here? I've heard that Pablo kidnapped you. Are you okay? How can I be okay after he forced me to have sex with him? What? Oh my God, this is terrible. I'm so sorry. Blake didn't tell you? No, Blake and I are not on good terms right now. Then how do you know? The guys were talking about what happened. The guys? Are you a part of the that gang? Yeah, I kind of am. Why is everyone lying to me? Why are you involved in all of this? Why didn't anyone tell me anything? 
simply because it's something we usually don't talk about. And I'm sorry about what happened to you. Some people are monsters. I'm here for you. You're not alone. Later that night. What are you doing up so late? You should be sleeping. I can't. I'm too worried when you're not here. Like, I tell you, I uh, will be careful. I know, but it's not so easy to believe. I'm afraid of Pablo. I'm afraid of losing you. <sighs> whatever, let's go to bed now. You need to sleep. <laughs> I say whatever. The next day. <laughs> Please don't be sad. I don't like to see you sad. I'm fine, Jean. No, you're not. I can see it. I'm not stupid. I know you don't want to talk about it, but I'm here if you need anything. Thank you. That's nice of you. I have an idea. Maybe we can go out together tonight or tomorrow night. I don't think so. I can't go out um, a lot right now. It's kind of complicated. Plus, I don't think my boyfriend would like the idea of me going out with another guy. Oh, right. That's understandable. Why don't you ask uh, Madeline? Let me. Uh, I'm sure she would like to go out. Yeah, she was mean to me. Plus, she's way more beautiful than me. She would never want to go out with me. Whatever, it's no big deal. I just wanted to cheer you up. I never thought I could say this, but school is so annoying without Jen and Tom. I hope they'll. Uh, I hope that they will forgive me. I feel so guilty, but you ain't did shit. Jen is my best friend and Tom is my brother. And now both of them are broken because of me. Because I chose Liam. I knew since the beginning that being with Liam was going to be complicated and risky. But I never thought it would it would hurt my friends. I never thought such a terrible thing could happen. Where are these fucking biscuits she get on the fucking shoes? Fucking dingy as hell. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Blake. It's me. Can you come see me when you have time? Of course, class just ended. I'm coming. Thank you. I wonder why she wants to see me. She probably mad at me. I wonder why you got some fucking shoes on. Can you drive me to Tom's place, please? Jim wants to see me. Of course. But I... I don't think I'll stay. I'd rather not see Tom right now. Yeah, I understand. I'll call you when you can pick me up. Yeah. Hey. She's in my bedroom. You fucking rude, Tom, with your big bird nose ass. I'll get the hoe in his ass. You wanted to see me? Yeah. I need some answers, Blake. I want to know why it happened to me. I want to know everything. Of course. And so I told her everything about Liam. Why Pablo was after him. Why he wanted to take it out on me. How this gang was the biggest mistake of Liam. that The biggest mistake Liam has ever made. Or had ever made. Now you know everything. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. But I never thought Pablo could hurt you. I swear, Jen, I thought he was only after me. Aren't you afraid of him? Aren't you afraid of wait for your life? Uh, of course I am, but what can I do? I love Liam and I trust him. I know he's doing his best to get rid of Pablo. And once he's done with him, he'll leave the gang and we'll start a new life with me. I swear he didn't know that Pablo was capable of doing such a thing. He feels so guilty about everything. He never wanted this to happen to you. Probably, but I still need time, Blake. I just, I can't just act like nothing happened. I understand. Wait, I know and I understand, trust me. I think we should just stop seeing each other for a while. I need some time to think. I understand. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye, Blake. Goodbye.
I'm so sorry, Tom. Yeah, whatever. You've made it very clear whose side you're on. There's no side, Tom. Liam is my boyfriend and you're my brother. I love you both with all my heart. Your boyfriend is a criminal and you should have left him the minute Jen was hurt. Do you really think we're happy right now? Don't you think we both feel guilty? I don't care. You can feel if wait, I can I don't care you feel guilty or not, if you feel guilty or not. I thought you were a smart girl. I guess I was wrong. You're willing to ruin your life for him. You're willing to lose me because of him. Tom, you can't ask me to choose between you and him, especially now. Why is that? Whatever. I guess it's just you and me for oh wait, I guess it's just you and me now. I can't choose him over you. Oh, I'm sorry, Blake. I hope they'll forgive me. I never meant to hurt you. You joined that game when you were fifteen. You didn't even know me. I can't blame you for your past mistakes. I promise I'll fix things. Um, I'll give you a future you deserve. <laughs> I will never let you down. One month has passed since that day. Tom came back to school, but he didn't talk to me. With his mad ass. What's going on between you two? It's personal. Gee, your ass is nosy as fuck. Mel and I became friends. She also apologized to Gene, and now things are uh, clear between them. And of course, my belly's getting big and round. I think you should see a doctor. We don't even know for how long you've been pregnant. I know, but if I see a doctor, I'm afraid Agatha would know it. I think it's time to tell everyone the news. I don't want to. They're going to judge me. I don't want that. We can't hide it forever, girl. Like, I mean, you're getting big as the fucking hell. You might as well go ahead and tell somebody, sweetheart. I know it's scary, but we just need to be sure that everything is fine. We don't care about what people will say. Your health is more important. I'm afraid to tell my mother to, but we'll have to tell them anyway. I know. Listen to me. No one has the right to judge you. It's your, it is your decision. Our decision. And as long as we're happy, that's all that matters. Yeah, you're right. Oh, shit. And so we went to see a doctor. Hello. She's Dr. Erickson. Hello, doctor. So, what can I do for you? I'm pregnant and I want to know if everything's fine. How far along are you? Actually, I don't know. It's the first time I see a doctor since I know it. Okay, then I'm going to do an ultrasound. You have to relax. Everything's going to be fine. You're 14 weeks pregnant. It was about time to see a doctor. But everything seems to be fine. Uh, can we hear the baby's heart beating? Wait, see, we can hear the baby's heart beating. That's too slow for a baby's heart beat. I'm turning it up so you guys can hear it. Beat. That's like a regular human's heartbeat. Can we know the gender? We can't see it yet. You'll have to wait a little longer. That's a goddamn lie. However, your BP is high. Uh, you need to relax and have some rest. Other than that, everything is perfectly fine. You can tell the sex of your baby from 14 to 16 weeks. Um, you seem very young. Have you decided what to do? What you want to do? Obviously, we want to keep it if I'm still fucking pregnant. In two months, I'll be 18. I'll receive a, huge, a large inheritance. We can give this baby everything he needs. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Is your family willing to help you during this pregnancy? They don't, I don't know. We haven't told anyone yet. <laughs> well, don't wait too long. It's better you, for you to have some support. I'll tell them soon. Great. You have any questions? No, I don't. 
then you're free to go. Make sure you come in for another checkup in a month. I'll be there. Thank you, doctor. Are you okay? You didn't talk much. Yeah, it's just this whole thing, doctor thing, it's new for me. But I'm glad I was there. I didn't know we could hear our baby's heartbeat. I know, right? It's so amazing. I can't wait to see our daughter. Daughter? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure it's a boy. If I, if I were you, I would not be so sure about that. Agatha said we only give birth to girls in this family. No one's ever had a son. What? No, no, no. <laughs> a girl, it's too much problems. <laughs> too many gods will be hanging around her. And I would have to kill them all. He's crazy. You're talking nonsense. Once you hold her in your arms, you'll be in love with her. You'll see. Well, it's time to break tradition and have a little boy. <laughs> but seriously, we have to tell him now. Yeah, I know. I wonder how Agatha's going to react. But whatever, we can't hide it anymore. Oh, let's tell them. Um... What are we waiting for? Yeah. Let's start with Agatha. Why, why not start with uh, Tallulah? Y'all at her house. The fuck? To be continued. All right, you guys. I didn't even notice how long that was. Well, hope you guys enjoyed.